If you feel a sharp, pressing, throbbing pain in some part of your head, possibly even on both sides. And perhaps there are sensory disturbances, such as impaired vision, sparks in the eyes, or some spots appearing. Or maybe it's associated with dizziness, ringing in the ears, a feeling of intolerance to certain sounds. It might be related to depression, then most likely you have a migraine. And if you've had a migraine once, it's likely to occur again. There are people who suffer from this problem for decades. There are several ways to address this problem. And today I will talk about the most effective ones. First, it's important to distinguish a headache from a migraine. They differ in intensity and duration. If it's a regular headache, it's a dull, pressing pain that can last for a few minutes or a few hours. And it doesn't cause other side effects like dizziness, nausea, photophobia, and many other symptoms. There is no sharp, pulsating symptomatology that is present with a migraine. This is precisely the main difference, because with a migraine, such acute symptoms can occur that a person simply cannot do anything. They just lose their ability to work. Severe dizziness, sharp pulsating, pain, even to the point of losing consciousness. There are many different theories as to why migraines occur. It is still not fully understood. But there are main ones, such as hormonal changes, this explains why women suffer from migraines more often. This is related to increased estrogen levels. It is also connected to certain biochemical processes, primarily with the synthesis of serotonin and other neurotransmitters, which in particular affect the postural blood vessels. That is, there are certain neurotransmitters that cause a sharp spasm of the blood vessels, and then after some time, a sudden dilation of the vessels occurs. And when they dilate, they press on the nerve endings in the brain. This causes an inflammatory process if a migraine has already started, take a painkiller because the inflammatory process has already begun and you won't be able to relieve it just with techniques. But in order to prevent future attacks and to reduce the intensity of the current attack, you need to perform techniques. Therefore, the first thing you need to do is relax here. This helps if you generally have a headache. And also with migraines, what do you do? You grab one ear and with the other hand, you grab the muscle here the sternocleidomastoid and start stretching. That is, you create tension, bring it to maximum tension, and then relax. Take a breath in and out. The main goal is to make it freer under the ears because the jugular vein passes right here. All the venous blood drains into the skull. And if it's blocked here, a dull heaviness appears in the head. So it needs to be free under the ear. The carotid artery also passes here. In general, to start, you relax and improve venous outflow on one side and the other. That is, after this, you might feel some relief. If you just have a headache, you might already feel better. So you take the frontal bone, the occipital bone, feeling the whole head, yes, inside there. And I just start making slight shifts, looking in one direction, then the other, to feel which direction the movement is better and which is worse. This is because the tension of these membranes is different on the right and left. And there is also tension ice in the skull. This technique is super effective for headaches. But of course, it's very important to do it correctly. I hope you succeed. And if you don't succeed, you just need to learn. There was a time when I couldn't do it either. Then I learned it. So you take the frontal bone, the occipital bone. Imagine moving the bones towards the right ear as if you are shifting them towards the right ear and then towards the left ear. For example, for me, it shifts better towards the right ear. So I start shifting the two bones there. And then once I've shifted, I add a twist. That is, I shift it, twist it in one direction, in the other, and look in which direction it twists. That's it. I twist and hold it in that position. That is, I bring it to the maximum movement tension and hold for 60 to 90 seconds. I can close my eyes and just breathe. My attention dives inside the skull. I feel the areas where headaches or migraines occur where it pulses. And I feel that there is relaxation happening inside the skull. The third thing, actually I would say, it's an even more complex technique, but there are no simple techniques for dealing with migraines. The simplest thing is just to take a painkiller, but a painkiller is symptomatic. You need to constantly take painkillers. But this is really addressing the cause. What can you do here? Here you can simply feel your carotid arteries, take hold of the carotid arteries and feel the pulsation. Place your hand on your head and also on the area where the migraine is. Close your eyes 
You don't need to press hard on the carotid arteries, but create some tension. You are affecting the vessel. It has a muscular wall. It has many receptors. You might feel that this vessel starts to pull inward into the skull due to uh, the tension. For example, if your head hurts on the left side. Okay, take the head, this part, stretch the vessel, and then slowly start bringing this vessel closer to the place of the headache and hold it like that for a minute, two or three. What happens at this moment? So you have contracted the vessel and after some time, vascular relaxation occurs there. The cause of migraines is precisely vascular disorders and impaired blood flow. There is another option. You can place your fingers on this vessel and on the ear and bring them closer together. So you are kind of bringing the ear um, closer to the pulsation of the carotid artery. Don't worry, if you press on the vessel from one side, you won't over compress it. You have another vessel, so there will be enough blood. So you hold it and relaxation occurs. You see, there are many specific techniques and unfortunately on the channel, I can only show simple methods that are understandable to everyone. Well, we have done the techniques. I hope you feel better. Please give feedback in the comments. It's very important for me to understand if the techniques worked for you. If you're interested, come for training. Meanwhile, give a like, be sure to subscribe and see you next time.